I hear you're massive Harry Potter fans, and by that I'm assuming you mean you're huge Jacob Malfoy fans. Seriously, Griffin dogs, no time for them. Um, I trust that you both are Slytherin. You must have some taste. In Harry Potter films. We got to play the pranksters, so we were able to get away with a lot of things. Uh, if we were even messing around, we could even say that we're in character. We're we're method actors, so that got a, that was a good excuse. I do hear that you're a big fan of Ginny, so that makes me very honoured um, to hear. I really loved playing her. I think she was such a strong-willed woman, and I love that she played Quidditch and that she stood up for herself and she wasn't afraid to be herself. So I think we can definitely get some inspiration from that. What's my favourite line of the whole movie's filming? Harry the Marauders map it's supposed to be set in the winter time and very cold well we actually filmed that in the middle of summer so although it looks cold we were absolutely boiling especially when they made us wear the jackets and the hats as well the reason i'm doing this is because i hear you're a die hard draco fan in fact i heard you hate harry potter my kind of gal my kind of slytherin merchandise by the bucket full thank god someone with some some bloody taste about bloody time i say potter has enough food as it is oh <laughs> what are you doing what are you doing? You can't see anything! <laughs> ah, 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 yeah, that's real life. She's crazy. All right, we love you too. When you see uh, Harry and Ginny about to kiss each other, if you notice in the background when uh, George appears and he's trying to be subtle but not be subtle about you know, basically ruining the mood from his sister uh, kissing his best friend's brother, he did what I suppose every brother would do who's non-confrontational in terms of just make it really, really awkward. Anyway, in the background, you'll see uh, you'll see me coming in, and it's almost a really big, exaggerated tiptoe, like this character who's almost doing something for comic effect and trying to be obvious to it. And so I was actually watching a couple of days before Looney Tunes, and I noticed that's how, especially Bugs Bunny would do that. So it'd almost be exaggerated, so you know he's he's tiptoeing around the subject. So that was my thinking. Behind doing it. I've said it so many times, this quote, but I just love it. I think J.K. Rowling's writing for Ginny was just fabulous. And her quote, anything is possible if you've got enough nerve, I think is a great quote and idea to bring through to your next year. So keep following your dreams and be brave and uh, warrior-like, like Ginny. I always thought she was quite the... My favourite spell about anything, because I get quite worried that I'm going to walk into something at night if I'm walking around the house and it's dark, is Lumos. So don't forget, you need to give it a, a flick and a... Uh, it's all about the wrist work there. Flick and a swish and say Lumos, and then everything lights up. Also, my favourite movie scene, now you guys may agree with me, um, is in the Goblet of Fire, when there is the Yule Ball. So it's when it's the Christmas scene, so it's like a big ball, and Fred and George are in there. They're all dressed up for the first time because Weasleys don't really do that. But a little bit of trivia. When we were filming that scene, we actually had over three and a half weeks of intense dance lessons. So when you see everyone um, dancing properly in the, in the middle of the Great Hall, that was all from dance lessons. I also hear that you heard that the line, didn't know you could read, was improvised. This is true. Although it wasn't me that came up with the improvisation, it was Chris Columbus, the director at the time. But it is one of my favorite lines too, so I'm glad you enjoyed it. And then, I suppose if we do get into a bit of mischief, we can always say, you know, mischief managed.